Okay, let's bring to order the finance committee meeting today being September 17th. Um, and we will go through our agenda to start uh, with review. We'll get through the meeting minutes from July 15th, 2024. Has everyone had a chance to review those minutes? Make a motion to accept. Second. All those in favor? We'll have to take a roll call. Is that true, Jess? Yes. yes. Okay. Roll call. Paul. Yes. Dan. Yes. Jim. Yes. Jim. Yes. Paul. Yes. Beauty. You weren't Jerry, here. Jerry. I mean Jerry. Sorry, you weren't here. Uh, can't can't vote. Can't, can't vote. Can't vote. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. All right. We got that out of the way. Okay. Okay. So uh, we have a reserve fund transfer of one hundred seventy nine dollars. Peter, you want to? Uh, Give, give us the overview on that. Let's see sure. Where. So this um, is for recreation general expenses. The budget in the town meeting warrant that was voted in in June didn't did not reference the correct worksheet when it was pulling in. So the total sheet that was in the warrant so it was missing the reference in order that it arrive, properly include the three percent cola for the recreation salary line item. So it was missing that hundred seventy nine dollar increase from that cola. Okay. Any questions? Questions on that? Okay. And just as a recap, you do have twenty thousand currently. Can you be sure? Yeah. Okay. How much is that now? Twenty thousand. And this is for one hundred seventy-nine. Oh, we gotta have, have make a motion. Okay. Um, but anyone would like to you don't make a motion to approve the transfer of one hundred seventy-nine dollars to the recreation general expenses. Second. Second. All those in favor, Paul? Uh, yes. Dan? I. Yes. 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 Paul? I. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Can we get a neighbor? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Don't worry. Right. 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 It takes a little while. <laughs> 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 I'll be sweet. It's me. Okay. <laughs> so that, uh, do we have to sign this? We have, yeah, we Okay. Send it back. You're good there. Okay. Item number three on the agenda to review, discuss, and vote on fall 2024 special town meeting warrant article recommendations that we all have in front of us. So we have a table of articles, actually 10. Please. There might be two more, but they will be non financial. They're general bylaws, only bylaws. So if they come, they'll be great. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, first of all, um, I guess so let's just take them one at a time. Obviously, um, approved bills of prior fiscal years to the town vote to transfer the sum of four fifty from available funds to pay unpaid bills of prior fiscal year or take any action relative there to the total is four hundred and fifty dollars, and that is for what. It's, it's for the assessing software, um, the Patriot property software that we have. Uh, that invoice arrived in April. The invoice date was April. Unfortunately, it was during the transition between uh, Sophia and the new assistant assessor that was coming on. And so that invoice did not get picked up until after we had closed the loans. Very good. All right. Any questions regarding mm -hmm. um, Article 1? Okay, now we have to vote on this. You have to vote, if, yeah, if you want to vote uh, to recommend. To recommend. Favorable action. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, individually? Individually. You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, let's, let's just do it. Yeah. 
So we can you want to do a lump them all together. Okay. Okay, let's go to uh article two. We send both the opioid settlement special purpose stabilization fund and approved transfer to cash. Um so, yeah, articles two and three actually are tied together. Essentially, when uh, we set up the opioid fund, it was under the guidance that all the communities should set up special purpose stabilization funds, uh, which they all did. And now, unfortunately, using a stabilization fund, then expending out of that is very problematic. It's difficult. You have to go back to town meeting anytime you want to go do that. And so the Commonwealth's guidance now is to shift those funds into a special reserve fund instead. So that's what all the communities are doing as a matter of formality and being able to expend from the funds. Uh, so what this request, the first article is to rescind that stabilization fund, move the money into free cash. And then article three is to then take that same money that we've received and now move it into a new reserve fund. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay, yes. any questions? Just wait, there's another one that's even uh, more confusing. Okay. Oh, any yeah. questions any regarding question. article two and three? Yeah. This, is, this is essentially just moving one money yeah, oh, yeah. to another account. Yes, a uh, question one. about the opioid reserve fund itself, or the opioid money, is earmarked to help people out with drug treatment. That's sole and, purpose. Correct, yep. Okay. It is explicitly limited as to how we can utilize those funds. Have we had much... Uh, we have not spent any money from the funds yet. Okay. Is there a time frame on those funds? I don't know. I'm not positive about that. I don't think so. We do have the ability to pool the funds should we decide to go with Foothills and try to do programming through Foothills and pool our money mm -hmm. uh, within the four communities of the Foothills. We could do it just with it lately. Uh, but yeah, it is very limited as to how you can use the money. You can't even use the money for like legal fees or administrative fees. It's specifically for the uh, treatment of the administration. So how long prevention? Who would come in front of us to, to get access to this money? Like where <laughs> come from? I believe it's the, the Board of Health. Department or Foothills? Um, or Board of Health or Foothills, yeah. Okay. The police department, but they'd have to have a... Uh, like a program or something right. that they yeah. want to, yeah. Like with these funds by Narcan, mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how how would this like I'm not for the high school or something like that. First Just, in the yeah. Okay. I'm not sure. I list. Yeah. Okay. Good. How do you how do you make people aware that the fund actually exists here? Yeah. Good. Question. Good. Good question. Yeah. Um. That would be through programming that we would develop through like the police department or the board of health. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Um, we would use our public health agent and nurse to develop that and then get the word out. Um, through like they they generally do like pamphlets, you know, newsletter type things, mm -hmm. or they'll hold clinics. Um, but they have different ways that they do. So we should have step once you put the money in the right pocket. Right, right. I would think we have pamphlets available here. And the town meeting to hand out to anybody who comes to town meeting. I don't think that they've developed any template yet, though. Yeah. But that's something that they could develop. You know, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're good in Article 2 and 3. Yes, yeah. Okay, yeah. Article 4 rescind fire department fees, special revenue account, and approved transfer of free cash. Then you notice Article 5 revolving funds. Re um, involving the fire department again. So, Peter, back to you. <laughs> and then there's um, article, yeah, right. articles four, five, and six are actually oh, all together. Well, there is. Okay. So yeah. So, essentially, the town created a fire department fee special re revenue account years ago, which is essentially anytime the fire department does any inspectional services or collects any fees, it goes into this special revenue account. There is no mechanism to actually use that money. <laughs> Yeah. Um, however, should the town actually have set it up as a revolving fund, just like all of our other revolving funds, so long as the revolving fund is explicitly defined in the general bylaw as to how the revenue is coming in and what the use of the funds are, and you limit the spending amount per fiscal year, it makes it so that the fire department then can actually use the funds as a normal line item, budget item, except it's a revolving fund, and it's within the confines of those uses. So the request here is to rescind the standing special revenue account, which currently has $3,095 in it, 
amend the general bylaws in order to create this new fire department revolving fund, establishing the revenue source as inspectional services fees, fines, and late charges. The funds can then be used for any lawful expense related to activities, programs, and operating expenses of the fire department. The proposed spending limit is 3000 for the current fiscal year, and the spending restrictions are similar to the other spending restrictions, which are funds may not be spent for the salaries of any full-time employees. That is a standard uh, restriction that the town Wheatley has on its revolving funds. Yeah. And then yeah. Article yeah. 6 yeah. is to then move that. Um, oh, hold on one second. And then Article 6 is to move that 3095 now to the revolving fund. Um, we only have part time staff. <laughs> And it's a single part time staff. Got it. Um, this is essentially when I get a fire department permit for a propane tank or something. Yep. That's where these funds go. Yep. Can this money be allocated for labor for the, for the fire department? In, in most communities, the, the fee for it covers the cost of the labor for the inspection. I believe that JP did state that it would cover that, but I. Yeah, so if he has to send someone out to deliver in the fire department to make that inspection, the, the fee covers the labor of sending that person. Right. We're saying that it can't be covering full time employees, but it could on call or some okay. more like inspectional service where we have to hire a different inspector to go and do or it. He has to yes. send Wayne out the, the time yeah. that Wayne spends doing yes. it on these fees. Yep. And it can also help provide a use where the fire department can use that for their training, any trainings, which means it helps to reduce the operating expenses because they can instead utilize funds that are in the revolving fund. Okay. Very good. Any, Any further other questions? questions? Okay. Article 7, proof transfer free cash, comprehensive plan grant. Peter, what is the comprehensive plan grant? So the town applied for a grant in order to update or essentially update the master plan. It's to do a new comprehensive plan for the community. Um, that uh, project for the grant is $84,000 essentially. That grant, should we be awarded, would require that we put up 10% of that total cost, which would be $8,426. Um, so this is in preparation of uh, getting a positive um, receipt that we did get that grant, but it's allocating the money. If we do not get the grant, we will not lose that money. Okay. Uh, we'll return it back. But um, this is to do, yeah, that compliment. Matt, it's essentially master plan in Massachusetts. They're shifting the nomenclature from master plan and comprehensive plan. What's that? Oh, it does. Yeah. yeah. It does. yeah. Any further questions on Article 7? I have a question. Go ahead, Ryan. 7, 9, and 10 all talk about taking money out of free cash. Would it be helpful in your upcoming town meeting to know what the balance is in the free mm -hmm. cash? So yeah, that much we know yet. Yeah. Well, okay. So so that just point, understand the impact of the we meeting. cannot vote on any of this until we have our free cash certified. So that brings us to another point. Um, I'm going to have to ask the select board to move the town meeting from 22nd of October to November 11th. The town accountant doesn't believe we're going to be able to get it back from the, the certification back from the state in time for October 22nd. Okay. So we're going to need it for November 11th. But yes. We do have to report back what our certified free cash, and we by law cannot vote to utilize any free cash unless it's been certified. So, so would you make an indication of what that balance is and it what can the be stated at the meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It would be helpful. Our free support. cash is you see the hands going up right away. Yeah. Yeah. Our our free cash Jerry is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, but it should we shouldn't just make it as a oh well there's going to be plenty of money we should vote it we do need uh, to right it be <laughs> right don't yeah. average it. Don't. yeah is that a slippery slope yeah yeah very but we do have to back we do have to state what it is and that will be a process to either Paul or well would be Paul that's I don't think we want Matt to have to go in before what our free cash is no. no it's not a motivated no. decision. But yeah, when it's open and we start getting into financials, yep. that'll be the first thing. <laughs> because I, um, even Article 1 is a free cash. Right. Uh, yeah, but it's. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we're using free cash. We're not using uh, reserve fund. Mm -hmm. So scratch my comment earlier about reserve fund having $20,000. It doesn't matter. It does have $20,000, but we're not asking to take it from the reserve fund. You were doing that uh, when we did the other request. Um, yeah, the 179. I was thinking this 
Or so it, Article it, One, Article Seven, Article Nine, and Article Why don't, all, why don't we take four fifty from reserve fund? We could. Yep. I mean, normally you when you've done past little bills, little things like that should sort of and it's a last quicker route. Yeah. Yeah. Because if we do that, we can take it out of the warren. Mm -hmm. Can we do that when it's a past year bill? I I think we have to actually have. I a think town you meeting. still gotta have a meet. You gotta have a town meeting. Yeah, yeah. you yeah. can't just do it as a book meeting, yeah. right? Because we're behind schedule. Yes, unfortunately. Still, well, still, you think maybe now that you still have to go to the meeting, and mm -hmm. I think you should still take it out of the reserve fund. Okay, but. Let's get through the rest of these. When yeah. we go to vote on it, we'll change. Okay. It. All right. Okay. Okay. Article eight: Approve transfer of free cash in force of dangerous dog order. Could you take us through that? Sure. The wording of this is still to be determined because I'm not so sure that we should be putting somebody's name on here. Um, Essentially, this, however, is to cover the cost that the town is incurring as part of its um, notice of violation and seizure of Miles, uh, Denise Donahue's dog. That dog has been um, in the shelter since May 29th, and um, it is a $50 per day fee. We've been paying that $50 per day, and there will be next week a uh, euthanization service fee of about $500. We were given an estimate between like 350 to $590. So I'm saying $500. I'll know definitively next week. Um, it be a three or four grand expense. Uh, it's so actually it's about $6,500. Oh, I'm sure. suggesting $75 just in case. Four months at the, yeah, yeah, at the pound of six grand. Um, the problem that we had was in, in 24, and no, yeah, in FY24, we were expending and paying for the cost out of our dog licensing and shelter revolving fund, which we're allowed to do. There is a set limit to, just like we just talked about the fire department, there's a set spending limit on that line item. And it was fine in 24. We're now in 25 and we're already about to hit it, actually exceed it. That limit is $2,000. Mm -hmm. So we now have to pay for July 1 through whatever the end date is and we cannot use that revolving fund because we have a spending limit. So we need to ask town meeting to appropriate or to utilize free cash to compensate for this. And there's that. no way to get this money back. <clears throat> there is no way to capture that. What a can of worms. Yep. So do you take the 2K out of that fund and then the balance comes out of free cash or all of it comes out? Well, that's. That's a TBD. That, however, that 2K is also how we pay for all of our physical licenses, it's how we pay for our mm -hmm. software. So, so you're going to go over just, anyways. Yeah. And it's she buys just. the tags, all that stuff. Yes. Right. Yeah. Got it. Uh, so we really should just allocate thing. whatever we're spending on miles during this FY25. So if they appeal this, or will we pass <clears> that? There is no uh, legal rate to appeal at this point now. That's been exhausted. All right. So basically, we are at the end of this. Yes, we're at the end of it. We are, <clears throat> as a caution, it's always uh, recommended to give 10 days from the hearing okay. before you actually take action. So we did put that in the notice that we're not doing it until next week. Um, <clears throat> as a private citizen, all private citizens can always bring the suit. There is no, even though there may be no appeal, that doesn't mean that they can't bring right. suit. But um, okay. at, as far as the current limitation, there is no appeal. All right. Available. Is there a reason there was such a delay between decision and the vote to have a dog use in this? Yes. <laughs> Stop talking. Because okay. when the, the dog that. was taken, the board then held a hearing to verify that the, there was a finding of violation. That was done June 10th. Denise then filed an appeal of the select board's hearing that she violated and the taking. There was no legal grounds for it. The district court accepted the appeal request. Mm -hmm. We went to an appeal hearing only to have it delayed two more weeks, went back to that next appeal hearing, had the appeal two weeks later, the 
the court magistrate determined that, yes, she, in fact, did not have right to appeal. So he dismissed her appeal, but then also found issue with the procedure that the board had done back in May and June. So we had to redo the, the noticing of seizure and um, wait for her to appeal yeah, and do another. Yeah, so all the legal requirements. And at, during that whole time period, we brought in a few different people to go and evaluate Miles to make a determination. Could it be rehomed? Could it be uh, retrained? Is this something where the dog could be a viable dog in a household in order for the board to know? Because they really did not want to go down the euthanization route. Um, but we it was determined that it could not go that route. And we also found because the town had already determined that the dog was a dangerous dog, as soon as anybody took ownership, the town town retains the libel. <laughs> so there was a lot of the cloud holding us back. So they finally took this action, but it did take a while. And we have a big things when you take it all back and shoot it. We had a previous situation on the board with a dangerous dog, and I fought to get a use knife to attack people. The board decided, no, we'll send it to Westfield. So it got shipped out to Westfield. That was okay with the owner. Oh, so mm. I don't know that there's been anybody in Westfield. What's in Westfield? Yeah. Somebody who would take up the dog. Oh. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, so this That's request fun. is oh. um, 60, will likely be $6,500. Oh, wow. Any other questions regarding Article 8? Okay. Move on to Article 9, CPA appropriation for Center School Historic Preservation. This, so this one is not a FinCom article to no. vote on because uh, CPA acts separate. So, right. That's good. I'm and, happy to answer any questions about it, though. As well, if, from time to time, the CPA asks the Finance Committee mm -hmm. for a, a recommendation. Okay. So if, if, they're, if they're not asking for that now, they're not, they're, no. fine. We're, we're good with that. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I'd like to hear what, what the latest is on this project. It's been going on forever and it's it's taking a lot it's of costing us a lot of money. Of insurance to keep the building yeah. there. Absolutely. Do we know anything about the status? Um, I don't have any information about that, but Judy will be able to provide that oh, during sure. the yeah during the meeting. Okay. But yeah, I don't have that. Are we good? Article 10, repurpose rebates for school project 2655. Oh, that's just a wash, right? Because it says we're going to get it back. Mm -hmm. So, yep. what this is, is um, we did the mini split projects at the elementary school using ARPA funds. Mm -hmm. That project was $63,000. We are getting $26,500 back. The standard procedure is that $26,500, any rebate monies always go back into your general funds. This is asking to take that 26.5 that we're getting back into our general funds, take it out of free cash in order to appropriate it back into the next phase of their mini split project, which you're going to be getting in your uh, next capital request for the annual town meeting. But it will be reduced by 26,500 if this is approved. That's about what they said. What we talked about this last year mm -hmm. that we've kind of given them some sort of us there. Yeah. Right, yeah. there. right yeah. now I do have a question into um town council and Dara is also looking into it on accounting standpoint whether because this was ARPA funded we're not positive how ARPA funded projects if there is a rebate from ARPA funds if it has to go into the ARPA bucket or does it go into our general Right now, it's our understanding that any rebates always go into general funds, but ARPA is a different beast. So we're, we're just double. We can see the same rebate double next phase in this kind of fiscal year. Sorry. But, well, but for the next phase of this, we're going to the same 40% rebate. We're going to expect to get that back. That I'm not positive about, um, but that will be for the next fiscal year. But um, that project is seven rooms, so it is a larger project. This Rebate's going to be covering three of the rooms. So it's $11,000 per room. So uh, it'll cover two rooms. So then the other two proper, or the other three rooms, it's like 5,500. So uh, yeah, and not 40%. But, uh, 
a sizable amount. Oh, you're asking what we're getting as a rebate back. That I don't remember. Darius will have. That. I know we were talking those. But last year we were getting the forty, and I was well, like, "Is that for the whole duration of the project, or just one year?" Well, unless things change, our understanding was that the forty would continue, but he couldn't guarantee no. what would happen with that money in that percentage. Oh, yes, that's pretty typical. Right. 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 all the time that they don't know what to do. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, while we're on the subject of the elementary school, have the duct ducts been cleaned and yep. Yep. Okay. Yes. <laughs> they found all sorts of dead critters in there. No. Did they really? Yeah. But they find <laughs> dead critters. Oh nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. You can do a science project. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Huh? That is amazing. Huh? <laughs> Hadn't been cleaned in Ever. 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 <laughs> so, yeah. 35 years. Wow. The school was opened in 1990. Mm -hmm. And here we are, well, 34 years. Yeah. Never been cleaned. Just don't know anybody. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. They need to figure out how many that's going to be in the YouTube. Yeah. Well, they already know. We sat in the room. We can talk about it later. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's, oh. Yes. That's, that's, Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, so so we're at um back up. Back to article one. Back to article one. I'm okay. gonna make a motion. Go ahead. We take the four hundred and fifty dollars uh to pay the CAI technology out of the reserve fund instead of free cash. Instead of free cash. And your reasoning for this is. It's a small amount, and it's for, it's a previous bill, and that's kind of what the reserve fund is for. Any questions about that? Okay, so we have a motion. You got a second? All those in favor? Paul? Yeah. Dan? Yes. Yes. Jim? Yes. Paul? Yes. Jerry? Jerry? Yes. I'll, I'll look right on. Yes. We'll just see the next time around. I'm telling you. you got to have a name for you know it. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so now uh, we will go back to the table of articles. Yeah, let's what, just go two through ten. No, two through eight. Two through, I make a motion we approve articles of both two through eight and ten. And ten. Okay, leaving out article nine. I second that motion. What I second that motion. Second, Paul. Yes, Dan. Aye. Yes. JD, Jim, yes, Paul, yes, Jerry, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. So, help me. I feel good. Like you sit on this side, yeah, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> that guy on my right, what's his name? <laughs> I might do that on there. Ben Moore, yes, it's been done. Okay, where are we? We go back to our agenda and, um. That was special town meeting warrant article recommendations. Number four, to review and discuss current budget forms submitted by town departments. Okay, this is what I asked uh, Peter to uh, put this into the agenda very, very quick. And my, as we all know, we get the budgets every year. We can take a look at them. And my feeling is that those departments that have revolving funds, that revolving fund should be in their budget so we can see it right in front of us yeah. rather than having to search for it ask for it and um and the same thing would apply to that revolving fund how it's being used how much of it has been used in a certain for that fiscal year um is that something you could oh yeah um what do we get the core of the just revolving funds well because we have a lot of other, there's like all those special reserve or revenue funds. Some of them are clearly identified as to what department controls them. Some of them aren't so much, but I think it could actually be a good exercise to force us to be able to determine who is the the responsible party over those separate accounts. And then they do have to 
demonstrate and show you what where they are with that. It'd be helpful to have a summary, right? Have all Absolutely. the different funds. Yeah. Who Absolutely. controls them? What they yeah. are not? Yeah. yeah. And once okay. we do it the first time, it's done. Right. Right. Once we get it cleaned up, but right now it's just this terribly long list, and it's hard to tell the controls why. Yeah. Hard to navigate that list. Yeah. Sure. Right. And some of them, okay. I don't even think we we need to look at. Some of them need to be shuttered because they're not even utilized. Good. While we're on the subject of the upcoming uh, budget forms, and then does anyone else have any thoughts on it or anything else you'd like to see included or changed or any of the above? Tommy, same old, same old time. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see, and I don't know if this has already been done because I'm on the board for one year. I, I there's a lot of deferred maintenance at the school, mm -hmm. and I'd like a more a bigger plan of what they've identified as problems and how we're going to rectify and fund those issues over the next years. They do have their own capital plan. The, 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 we had a, we had a walk through last year. Uh, Jim and, and Tommy and I went over that with. Um, Billy Hills, right? And the dollars that he had to put aside for building maintenance barely cover the expenses of having the fire alarm serviced. It very, very most of stuff. And there's so yeah. many things there that the deferred is going to put off. And these costs are going to balloon if we don't take care of this sooner or later. Yeah. Did they do a five year plan? <laughs> no, no. Yeah. Or is it like, like the, the, the deferred maintenance? That's work. kind of like flooring that needs to be stuck on that needs to work. Yeah. There's a lot of issues in that building. And, and that's a good point because just if you think about the duct work, now that has come up in the past, but it's always been relegated to this third position or it's a, it's, it's not an A or a B, it becomes a C in terms of importance. And yeah, you know, and we're sitting around, we're just kind of looking at dollars and cents and all of a sudden we learned this past year that it has never been done. And so that becomes a health issue, obviously safety issue. Um, but what those kind of things need, those things need a champion. See, there has to be a champion that comes out of all these departments, people that um, you know live in, live the live the word. And if that doesn't happen, then the finance committee just kind of looks at a lot of these things as um, you know one dimensional and and proceeds that way. So I, I, I think that dovetails well into what we just talked about, making the whole process more coherent. And you know, maybe we could add a supervisory assignment to whoever has domain over say the school mm -hmm. uh, to report back on items mm -hmm. such as that. Right. Right. So I, I'll just a just a classic issue for the school is the problem right now. So uh, all the the kindergartners and the preschoolers get dropped off in the fire lane, which is just gravel and dirt. It's not there's no paved sidewalks, there's no concrete sidewalks. They they are in the dirt and the mud and the snow and the ice, and they drive on the back side of the building. That should be at least hard back when the concrete sidewalk going to it. There's a student blind. Just a student's so wheelchair, and they're having to transfer over mm -hmm. roots and rocks and gravel trying to get to Dory in the school every day. Well, it was kind of just like, oh, well, that's the way it is. One would think the school committee might have some responsibility yeah. for keeping up with. Well, they should. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Certainly, in the school yeah. system, should be, should be in place already, but it's not being enforced or they're ignoring it. Mm -hmm. It's Right, but if you wind up with one lawsuit from somebody who trips in that kind of a hazardous known condition, yeah, exactly. We shouldn't be the ones to have to bring that up. Mm -hmm. They they need to identify the problem and tell them to say, "Hey, finance committee, we've got right, these capital projects ahead of us. We want to fund these as funds come available. We'll start putting some money towards it because the costs are only get more. Just holes all over that building with the stucco. It's just going to start rotting. Horrible." That's a shame. Well, that's a good fix. But there's the whole Hildreth is doing a good job. He only, he only, so he right. he only has a certain amount of money. Okay. Okay. After I, I think we talked some of this before. The school committee has got to get that their their general budget for maintenance. Is yeah. government properly 
shut up or hand. That's not that yeah. which I gotta do. Mm -hmm. um, um, maybe uh, we should make a visit to the Mexico committee meeting. Propose. Does anybody have the expertise to help them with that? Or ask them for a more concrete plan? Oh, yeah. 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 Billy Hildreth, is, as far as I'm concerned, is more than capable of yeah. identifying problems. But and but why some of these things haven't been dealt with, I don't really know. Are his hands tied? There's is one it, person in charge of five buildings. Right. Yeah. I yeah, I think that. there's you know, that. No. I think there's a general um concern, you know, in the school department about coming in with an overall budget number um that is That we don't want to see. Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. they're afraid to put in general maintenance. Yeah. Okay, so, um, I so I, what happens? Things I, get I passed. also, the highway department gets all the work in the school because it's school. In my mind, I don't see why the highway department can't go in and do some of the stuff when they're yeah. slow. They can go get some gravel and work on it. They hear some of these things. They don't, they don't want to. No, that's a select job. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah. Okay, they're countries against each other. They do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're not being asked. So, right. you're still not at the root of the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The root of the problem is at the school and right. some of their people. And that's what's got to be fixed. But Hildreth works for It's got to be addressed. I was there last year. He works for Union 38. Yeah. And right. technically, the Wakeley Elementary School is under the umbrella of Union 38. Right. Yeah. I'm not trying to accuse anybody. But I we, just want to see the building but down. I, I, it's it's under their umbrella, but we still pay the bills, yeah. like the mini splits and the duct cleaning and all that. Mm -hmm. We we pay the bills, sure. so and we're invested in that building. So you deserve to know. So, right, right. So here we have the uh, finance committee telling the select board to tell the school committee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. the school committee yeah, will we tell it. we shouldn't have to, but no, so no. we should do it, right? I think there are a number of departments that should have a five-year plan, just so you know what's coming on the highway well, side. A lot of them do. Capital, well, we do, we do capital, capital planning. planning. Yeah, that's Dan's planning. on that. We have a 10-year scope oh, on okay, a lot of the departments. But the but school department doesn't have We that. don't go into the school and, and do it. I see. They come to us with what they foresee down the road. And we put it in a plan, but that's what's not being done. Got it. Okay. So it, it, and this, I still say it's always, it's everything we've talked about at schools goes back to the school committee. And we can't get the selectmen to tell the school committee what the hell to do. No, and that's where we sit. We shouldn't have to be doing it. You can't. They're elected individuals. So we can recommend to them. So I think the finance committee needs to recommend to the uh, school committee that um, um, that they uh, have a plan and that yeah. we are made aware of that plan and um, and the proposed cost and the proposed cost. And I do want to say while we're here, um, last year the school committee did not come before the finance committee to ask for. Um, the budget they requested. Instead, uh, because they couldn't find time to do it. Okay. Instead, um, we went to one of their meetings and listened to their needs, and it really wasn't, it was their meeting. It, it wasn't a finance committee meeting, but That's most of us went. Right? That's got to change. Right. Um, so, what my feeling is this, my, my feeling is that the taxpayers and the residents of the town of Whaley have a right to hear, hear their school committee and their elementary school come before their finance committee to discuss requested funds. Every other department does. And if that doesn't happen, then we flatline it. So um, one idea is in the past community I worked for, our superintendent 
would hold tri-chair meetings and it would be just the chair of the select board, the FinCom and the school committee. And it was where, but a way for the three chairs along with the superintendent dis to discuss those budgetary things, talk about whatever the, the capital might be, or if there's you know some teacher changes that have to happen, staffing changes, but it allowed them to be able to meet on a, they did it on a pretty regular basis. And then each of the chairs would report back to their respective groups. And then if they ever needed, they could have dual or joint meetings, but at least the chairs, so that it wasn't having to be, let's say a contentious public meeting, are you know multiple voices having one representative, the chair from each of those three. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see if Darius is interested in doing that or has that meeting. happened in the past. It's a public meeting. It's not because it's not a, you're not uh, constituting any board because okay. you're only taking that chair member out. That's great, except in addition to discussions which are important and, and planning, we need to see costs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, this is just a way to, for them to, like, FinCom to be able to raise to the school committee what the concerns are in the select board trying to sure. also no, mitigate. Yeah. But at that point, then the school committee, the chair member then goes back and says, okay, we need to do X in order to better improve how we're demonstrating what we want to do, support this. We are getting some field feedback from the FinCom that they would support an increase in the budget request, sure. but we need to demonstrate. Yeah. X, Y, and Z, and how we would do that. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, you know, I think that uh, there might some piece of wisdom in that, and, and it could be a step. Yeah, to re reach out. Yep. And see what he thinks. Okay. Um, and then we'll have that discussion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Any other questions? Any other thoughts? Any other items? Anybody want to bring anything up? No? Okay. Jerry, okay. good good job on the first meeting. I want to congratulate you. <laughs> what about my question? Oh, oh, oh. sorry. Oh. Go ahead. Um, just two quick questions, and it's just more process. In the budget, is it possible to add a comment section for each of these departments to the right of what they're requesting? So you at least have and whoever might be as a reader, either the selectman or anybody. We have forms that they fill out. Yeah, do all right. That. It's not yeah. just this. No, 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 no. no. That, that, that was perfect. given. The, the, so this is only the documents that the town administrator sends to each department, saying, "Okay, start to develop." Got it. There so is there's, there's, there's more detail. That. So yes. I appreciate taking the committee's yeah. time. Yeah. My my other question was just looking quickly at the budget, the actual summary. It appears that the capital expenses for various departments are layered in with the operating expenses. So if you buy a vehicle, yep. it's inside of the operating account. Yep. Is that a purposeful decision or is it possible to take the capital expenses out, put them in their own section with the different department heads underneath, different departments, yeah. so that you can see what the real increase or decrease in activity is? So you don't have these big swings year over year. You mean, yeah, that's a good point. Is there a real budget? budget? Yeah, so you have a real budget. That's yeah. Yeah. You, you essentially have a zero based budget that says, here's what we did last year. Yeah. Set aside, we bought a car, which mm -hmm. is important. Mm -hmm. And here's what we want next year. And here's why we have a difference. I think the reason we put it in there, um, so that we could see what the exact what the cost, cost of that department yeah. is yeah, yeah. at any one time. But it's a good point that that you take the capital, create its own, own section. Tommy, was was there ever that was, was it ever that way before? Mm, not really. No. I mean, we we never really had a capital plan until it's true. ten years ago, maybe, yeah. Dan. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, well, I think I think we we do a good job reviewing that capital plan. Yeah, of anytime. Course within any budget during the course of the year. Got it. We refer back to our yeah to that plan. So those those are individual by themselves, not necessarily only in the budget. Right. There is another whole scenario which you'll find out as you it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I, I think that's very important. I'm just mm -hmm. thinking ahead to your found meeting questions when the people say, well why did this go up? Why did that go down? Okay. You don't have to then say, well, we bought a car. Yeah. 
so you can see it on the yeah. capital side, and then you'd have a pure sense of offering. Just to have, yeah. maybe it's too late to do it for this well, year, but no, no. Okay. consideration for. But we do year. vote capital. They vote on that already, so right. that, that's what I'm saying. It is there, except it is separate. Along with that, we incorporate it to give the overall picture of that department. Got it. Yeah. Oh, here they are. Yeah, like when the highway department comes in and presents his budget, he's going to, you know, go through his regular budget. And then when he's done with that, he'll say, you know, now we're going to talk about the capital plan. I need another dump truck or I need whatever. And it's usually on the capital plan yeah. so we know about it it's not a surprise right. and you'll have and we will all have the separate copies of it copy of, 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 of what the capital yeah. plan requests are by the top excellent um so it'll probably be pretty well in it'll, it'll it'll be more clear at that point um, now it may seem to be um, you're just getting a dozen today got it no i appreciate the time of the committee <laughs> yeah. I think I think it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, so people can look at them. I mean, it's still question. You can see the reason for the jump in percentage or the right. increase. Yeah, because I know that came up in town meeting. People right. were asking what's this variance for. So having that comment section, yeah, yeah. I think would be helpful for the reader yeah. as well as considering the capital piece. Thank you. I agree. So um, you good? You good? I'm good. Take all these requests and <laughs> <laughs> blend them into something. They'll be done tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. I make a motion. We adjourn. I second them all. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.